The following program is for adult audiences only. This is. This is. Eric and Gord, what if we're right? Live, live, right now. Are you ready? Find, find and like us it's on Facebook. Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Well, I guess it depends on what the person's diet was. Ah, uh, yeah, but we got probably so much shit in us just from the chemicals we use on our bodies and fucking. Like, shit we put in gas in the air and all kinds of crap. But if you got one of those, like, people that live off of the land for the last 50 years in the middle of nowhere, bet you they would be okay. They'd probably taste all right. Be like that grain-fed free-run human. (laughs) Corn-fed, farm-reared. I don't give a shit about his childhood. (laughs) Right. I'm going to eat it, not write a book about it. Uh, it's just funny. Hi there. <laughs> Happy uh, Wednesday. It's February the 3rd, 2020, and I'm Eric. Talking heads from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where uh, I got a message for the liberal government. Fuck you guys. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have for you today. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, I'm having some microphone issues here. Hi, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the government to get started. Yay. Um, and I'm having a serious microphone issue, so this is what you get for now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Eric, you've never looked better. A little pale, but... Looking I'm, I'm pretty unhappy, as you can see, <laughs> with the... Not happy with my microphone. <laughs> Happy you're doing the show. Uh, Angry about the microphone. Yes. <laughs> um, if you I was this up with the whole show, I'm not going to be able to keep a straight face for any of this. <laughs> That's okay. Just want you to know I'm upset with the government. And let me tell you why. I woke up in a weird mood this morning. And I was thinking, you know what? I'm a fucking patriot. Maybe I should a little slack you know they got it pretty rough maybe they're not as bad as i've been saying and we couldn't trust the numbers and put our faith in the government i was thinking look at the scandals they've had really how many of how many have they had like two the snc lavalin thing and the the other the aga khan christmas thing and i was like whatever i decided to google liberal scandals since of our government i found a couple more than two <laughs> Could you actually get a full tally of how many? 117. <laughs> 117 scandals involving our government since they started. These are the ones that you're telling me we have to just listen to them. We have to just trust them. We have to put our faith in them. No. These are the people you want to put your faith in? No. <laughs> My good God. Not to mention the guy fucking, what's his goddamn name that I just wrote down? Raj, Raj Grewal, who was just last month charged with four counts of fraud. Federal MP charged with four counts of fraud and breach of trust. Oh yeah, we should put our faith in him. Let's just trust what the government says. The fraudulent <laughs> guy who's going to jail. Wow. Yeah, I'm happy again. I'm happy again. Um, among <laughs> these, um, idea. not the, uh, you know, not the smallest one was uh the fact that they ran on a campaign of changing voter the voter um the way we vote yes that's how he won he won by saying he was going to change the way he vote and yeah, the first thing so he that did way when he get in what? only only the vote like the people's vote count not anything else yeah it was uh, yeah. proportional representation yeah it means one vote is counted as one vote and that's it there's no bullshit like there is now with the writing system. Um, he made five key promises, most of them to indigenous people, mm. and he's kept with, uh, oh, none of them. Not a single fucking one has he followed through, including the election reform, which he actually changed more hardcore in the other way. Mm-hmm. He also said he was going to, uh, one of the big things was he was going to change the Freedom of Information Act because of the way Harper would never allow 
information to get out of his office? Well, Trudeau was going to change that, and in fact, he did. He made it much more difficult to get any information out of the Prime Minister's office. Um, this just goes on and on and on, but I'm just going to read some of the classics of all the, these guys that you just say we should trust their numbers. Yeah, let's talk about their numbers a little bit. Wait, there's an um, angry face. I feel like I'm in a Talk Bob Dylan video. <laughs> um, here's some here's some numbers for you, if I can fucking find them. This is why I write notes and I don't do things with my phone. But I decided to write notes in my phone. Uh oh, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, but let me see if I can find this article. Anyway, the fact is, these people that uh, you guys are saying, oh, just trust the numbers. We gotta f- listen to the government. The government knows what's best. Well, these are the people. That you're trusting. And let's not forget what's going on with um, Julie Payette. Oh. Uh, do you remember Do you remember who went down for the SNC-Lavalin scandal? Oh, it was the Attorney General, Judy yeah. Raybould. She got thrown under the bus for that one. Uh, you know what? who got thrown under the bus for the two Michaels? Oh, it was the Attorney General before her. Uh, yeah, he got fired because of that. And now people are mad at Trudeau for what's going on right now. And who's getting fired? Oh, the Attorney General. He's got kind of a pattern here of not taking blame for shit and letting attorney generals go. Wow. And he, when he fucked up um, Raybolt's thing, I mean, like, that was a backlash, too. Oh, yeah. Fuck. That was bad. That was the second time he was found to be in breach of the conflict of interest by the ethics commissioner who said he has violated his ethics as the prime minister. <laughs> um, here's some numbers we can listen to. Like the three hundred thousand dollar bill we paid for the for a review into the fucking Stanley Cup riot, um, John Furlong from the Olympic Committee got paid ninety seven thousand dollars for an investigation while he was in South Africa not investigating anything. Wow. <laughs> um. There's uh, the MP who got $97,000 severance pay. He was so bad at his job, they had to fire him. But he got $97,000 in severance pay for, oh, how long was he in office? Oh, 11 months. Wow, that, wow. Normally you get two weeks, but he got $97,000. So by rights, that means he makes, uh, what, $52,000 a week? That's a pretty good job. That's not bad. Uh, so these are some of the numbers. Hey, remember that balanced budget he ran on? He was going to balance the budget? Well, in fact, he got a balanced budget from Stephen Harper because the, ba- the budget was balanced the first year he got elected. Yep. And now he's got a deficit of $90 billion. <laughs> $90 billion. That's wrong. I'm sorry. I don't know where it is, but it's a little bit less than that. But it's not balanced. No. He's billions of dollars of deficit. It should be by the time he's done, it'll be uh, $9 billion. Uh, but that's okay because they've understated it every year by $520 million. So he goes, oh, this is what our deficit is. No, you're off by a little NASA math there because it's $520 million more than you said it is. Yeah, but, you know, it's okay. We're going to give $350 million to India, so it's fine. Um... The trade agreement between Canada and the economic and the uh, European Union, there will be... A lot of public input into how we both... No, there won't. Um, hey, we created... What What was the number here? Uh, 250,000 jobs or something? <laughs> yeah. Jo- oh, that one. And uh, no, no, it turns out those were not created. Those just... They just weren't. <laughs> they didn't forget... They didn't do the math wrong. They... They literally didn't do anything. <laughs> I remember in your backyard when all those health ministry workers got fired. Yep. And the RCMP were investigating. <laughs> uh, no, it turns out they weren't investigating. Some of them got their jobs back. Some of them got cash settlements. Nobody was charged with anything. <laughs> and the RCMP never, in fact, launched an investigation because there was no evidence. So they just they just didn't. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's good. It just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. 117 of these, and I'm not going to read them all. I shouldn't have to. These are the people you're saying, oh, just trust their numbers. Is this 117 just under Trudeau? 
The just since Trudeau's been in, yeah. Wow. Holy fuck. Uh, it just, I want to try to find some. Well, there's all the broken rules. There's the the pipeline we bought. <laughs> the aircraft. Remember the, 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 uh, the aircraft? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> the helicopters. <laughs> what were the, it was $11,000 per helmet or something like that? <laughs> he paid, like, uh, top dollar for, like, 30-year-old fucking submarines or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, the head of the uh, gambling commission was found in a conflict of interest. Because he was... Uh, gambling? He was no. He was the head of the BC Lottery Corporation. Was trying to get this big fancy house, and <laughs> they hooked him up with that. <laughs> oh, there he goes. A hundred thousand LNG jobs. No, no, it was actually twenty thousand, and they weren't. They were peripheral, like construction jobs. They weren't full time jobs, and they weren't going to last. They said a hundred thousand. In the end, there was nine. Off by nine. a little bit there. Uh. The Auditor General found the government blew through $5.2 million doing nothing. Just nothing. There's no explanation for that money. Just $5 million. Just, where's that? Don't know. <laughs> Shut up. Quit asking questions. <laughs> uh, anyway, the fact of the matter is, these are the people you're saying you trust, and you want me to just trust. Um, Has the, have they ever made a promise and gone through with it? I don't believe they have yet. Like, they, well, they go, they go through with them, but in weird back ass words ways that don't aren't right. <laughs> like they, like the thing about they did, in fact, change the Freedom of Information Act. And I guess we were silly; we thought they would change it for the better, but no, they made it much harder for us. <laughs> so they, I guess they followed through on that promise. They did change it. Wow, it's a pathetic um, thing when you got to get their full intentions when they say, well, here's what we're going to do. Are you doing it for make it easier or harder? Next question. <laughs> they said they absolutely will not impose a tax, a foreign home buyer's tax. They cannot do that. They will not do that. They will not impose a home buy foreign home buyer's tax. And then they imposed a 15% foreign home buyer's tax. <laughs> Just right after saying it. Hmm. Weird. I don't get it, but yet for some reason they're not held accountable for this. The Site C dam that's still not finished. You know when that project was vetted, when they first started talking about that project? Nineteen eighty three. Holy fuck. It's still not done. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! So like these are the forty years ago, almost. <laughs> yeah, and we're still working on it. We're still banging out the details. Oh my god! It will never ever be done. Uh, the the there, there's stuff about the carbon tax. There's stuff about just liberal fundraisers that are just uh, stupid and handing out checks to each other. And the real estate agents in Canada are the biggest donors to their party, and housing prices keep going up and. <laughs> Is, ICBC liberals projected six hundred and seventy eight million dollar surplus at ICBC. No, it was actually eight hundred and thirty million dollar deficit. So you were completely way off that. That's more BC, but still, it's a seventy three million dollar net loss for us. Wow. <laughs> the um, the the investigation into the missing and and uh, murdered indigenous women? That still hasn't started, but it's going to soon. But they named a I'm highway. Sure it is. Or they named a bridge. Was it a highway or a bridge? It's a highway. Well, yeah, well, that highway's always been named that. They stuck a rickety old bus up there, finally. <laughs> that was nice of them. Uh, oh, yeah, the killing of the baby in foster care. I forgot about that one. Oh, fuck. Anything ever happened with that? No. Oh, oh yeah, and when Gordon Campbell was jailed for drunk driving in Hawaii, and nothing happened to him for that. 
Then they promised they would never sell BC Rail, and then they did. 